Hi, I'm Lizzie and today I'm going to make a beef and beer stew using the Schwartz Recipe Inspiration Kit. Lovely for Sunday lunch where you can get everything into one pot. So I just want to get the oil really hot here so that I can flash fry the beef. I'm using lean stewing beef here. We're just sealing it to keep the flavour in. We don't want to overcook it. That's coming along really nicely. So I'm just going to quickly wash my hands now. You cut your onion. It doesn't have to be particularly fine. I'm going to put the carrots in this because I think it's really lovely the way the carrots cook in all the meaty juices and you've got all the flavours as well of the herbs that we're going to add later on. Sitting around a table with the family sharing old traditional recipes. This is a great British classic and I think the combination particularly of beer and beef is a really lovely firm favourite. There we go, that's the beef done. I'm going to add the onions to the pan, add in the carrot. Now it's time to add the key ingredient, which is the Schwartz Beef and Beer Stew with Herb Dumplings Recipe Inspiration Kit. And it's got a recipe card on the back. Use it again and again. The next ingredient to go in is the garlic granules. So easy. You get all that lovely garlic aroma. I've got about a tablespoon here of plain flour. Thickens everything up with all the lovely juices. But next I'm going to add the beer. Really what you're looking for is the dark ale. Just add it in there some beef stock. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon or so of tomato puree, paprika, marjoram, and in with the sage. They're really lovely woody, wintry sort of herbs. Take the beef that we cooked earlier, and because it's rested there, some of the juices have come out, which is absolutely perfect. Add in the lovely juices, and then we're just going to cook that in the oven. Gas mark three or 170 degrees C or 325 Fahrenheit, and that will just cook in there for about an hour and a half. So whilst that's cooking, I've got plenty of time to make my dumplings. They're so quick and easy. It's the kind of thing that your grandmother used to make and you thought it was much more complicated than it is. It's actually so quick, straightforward. 100 grams of self-raising flour with 50 grams, it's either beef or vegetable suet, it's up to you. Put in a good twist of your Schwartz sea salt. To make the herb part of the dumpling, we've got thyme. Again, it's all pre-measured, so it's so easy. Let's pop that in, and some lovely rosemary, which is very fragrant. Give that a mix around. Just keep adding water as you go along. Make that into a firm dough. Get the beef out of the oven. Oh, lovely. We're aiming for eight dumplings here, so I'm going to cut it in half. Each one into four equal size pieces. Let's turn the oven on to gas mark six or 200 degrees C, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. In the oven with the lid on for 10 minutes. The dumplings are going to cook in the steam there from the juices. And then for a further 10 minutes with the lid off, just lets them brown a little bit on the top and there you have it. Schwartz beef and beer stew with herb dumplings from their recipe inspiration kit. Delicious. You are very welcome to join us at the Schwartz Cooking Club Facebook page for more recipe ideas and chat.